Hello, and welcome again to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda on the NES. My name is Keith, aka Keithius, and hopefully this will be the last video, because all we have left to do now is be level 9, aka Death Mountain. So when we last left off, uh, I just finished level 8, obviously. And I actually took an opportunity to off-screen uh, grabbing some potions and uh, just doing a little bit of making sure I'm all set here, which basically amounts to remembering how to get through Death Mountain. And I am using a map for this one because, honestly, um, I had a hard time remembering the path through Death Mountain even when I was young and playing this game all the time. Considering how long it's been, uh, there is no way I would I would remember it on my own anymore. So, yeah. It's gonna be a little bit less authentic. When I was a kid, we didn't have maps. Well, you did if you had Nintendo Power, but I didn't, so... That's where we're gonna go. So, this is the way to Death Mountain, in case you didn't already know or if you somehow missed it from my last video. And there's a whole crap load of enemies that hang out here. Which I'm just gonna kill, so we have a nice clean entrance to Spectacle Rock and Death Mountain. This is going to be a really hard video, or really hard level. So, bear with me here. It's been a long time for me, but hopefully we can get through it in one video. And hopefully, unlike last time, I don't forget to watch the clock and end up getting cut off halfway through. Anyways, this guy is gone now because... Well, you can't see it because we're in a dungeon, but I have the full Triforce. Ah, excuse me. Delicious coffee. Keeps me going. So, here we are. I love the music in this level, I really do. I sometimes find myself humming it, uh, even years later, just because it's so... Uh, it's just so creepy. Um, let me see here. I... I, 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 I have made a mistake somehow. Um, I have made a terrible mistake. I am going the wrong way. I need to... <sighs> go back down. See? Even with the map, I'm still getting myself confused. It's terrible. Shameful, I know. Alright, let's go through here. And this level is just chock full of secret passages you need to go go through, and it's basically one big friggin' maze. Alright, now where does this drop me out? It drops me out all the way up here, which means... ah. Likes. I hate these guys. I used to have... I used to get actually physically scared as a kid when they would get near me. Because I didn't like them stealing my shield. Now one thing we don't really have to worry about in here, although they will give you keys for this level, um, you don't need them. Because you've got the magic key. And did I just hit myself with my own fire? I think I did. Shameful. I'm not going to kill everything in here. I don't care about you. I am just pretty much going to try and finish this level as quickly as I can. It's nice to see these guys making a comeback. Do need a lot of bombs for this place, though. As I said, 
lots of secret passages. We got the map. Cool. Not that that really helps me much, because there's so many secret passages and so many <sighs> walls you have to bomb and walls you can't bomb and all this sort of... Ah. I'm just gonna try and get through here as quickly as I can, like I said. And here we come to the first of many secret rooms that aren't even on the map. Once again, I have a real problem with blue enemies. There we go. We go down here, and we get the red ring. Finally. A lot of good it does us. We have the blue ring pretty much for the entire game, but you can't get the red ring until you've gotten all the Triforce. Yeah. So. But that will help a lot, because uh, that cuts your damage taken in uh, a quarter. So, whereas the blue ring reduced damage by a half, this reduces it to a quarter of the damage you would have taken before. Which makes life a lot easier. And here's this guy again. I'm just gonna bypass him, because I can. And here we have the most useful hint in the entire game. Go to the next room, he says. Gee, thanks. Thanks a lot. Anyways. Uh, here we go. Oh, more of you guys. I'll kill the easy ones first. I don't walk directly into them like an idiot. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Game's smiling on me today. And here we go again. There's actually two treasures you need to get in this level, unlike every other level. And where am I? That brought me out uh, all the way down here. Okay, so I need to go up briefly. And once again, I need to keep an eye on the time here so that I don't cut you off abruptly. Up to eight minutes already. Jeez. Whoa, lots of enemies here. Fortunately, I'm just passing through. And... Patra has the map. Well, I already got the map, so I know that. Thanks a lot, old man. I'm not even gonna bother hitting him in the face, like I normally would. No! 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 He did it to me! He stole my big shield! Ah, oh, crap. Look at that. Oh, I'm... Ah, uh, that's... Fuck. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna stop the video briefly and off-screen getting my big shield back, and I'll meet you back here. See you in a bit. Okay, and I'm back. A little bit worse for wear, sure, but I've got my shield back and that's what counts. That was a needlessly long uh, little side adventure thing there. So here we have, for some reason, a black floored room, which normally only you get in uh, places that are hidden, like, you know, rooms that are off the edge of the map, or where the old man is. Anyways, here we go with this guy again. Uh, let's see here. 
I do need to beat him, so let's see if we can. Of course. Doesn't do anything. Come on, you bastard. Die. There we go. No, he's immune to your magic wand. Of course. I don't care about the key. And let me just check where I'm going here. Alright, and we're up here. Okay, cool. Get me away from those guys. And, oh boy, this room's gonna be fun. Beating here. All right, and like I said, here's our second treasure, the silver arrow. If you don't get this, you cannot beat the game. This is the only way to kill Ganon. And no, I don't know what the correct way to, to spell his name, nor do I care. Well, I mean, I I do know the correct way to spell it. I just haven't. Uh, checked on it recently. Alright. Beat those guys without too much trouble. Relatively speaking. I am still taking quite a beating here, but it's okay. It's okay. We can make it. Alright. So. Now I need to go up. Oh god. The nice thing about the uh, magic wand, as I was trying to say in my last episode before I got abruptly cut off, is that you can keep fighting with it even after you've been hit by one of those bubbles that takes away your sword. And you can still shoot it, which is nice, even when you don't have full hearts. So you can blast fire at these like likes all day long. There's more of them up here, I'm sure. Yep. Takes a few more hits than the magic sword, but that's okay. As long as we don't have to get near these bastards. I'm okay with it. Oh my holy crap. There are a lot of enemies in this room. Skip that one. Thank you. Now I need to bomb here. Whew, just made it. I would love some hearts or fairies here, but they seem to be pretty scarce in this room. All right. Now I can take the time to kill you guys. All right. Now I'm kind of doing this just because I want to get all the stuff. Ah, stop following me. And for my five rupees, I get access to the final hint. Eyes of Skull has a secret. Thanks a lot. Now, of course, what he's referring to is the fact that the room right below me there, or in the eye of the skull, as it were, is where Ganon's hiding out. Actually, that's uh, technically not true. That's where Zelda is. Ganon's in the room right below it. Come here. Huh. 
thank you. Um... What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One-way door? No, I thought I could go this way without doing that. Ah, for crying out loud. Oh, wait. Never mind. I just need to go here. Wait. Oh, come on. I've gotten myself stuck. I should not have gone up here. It was a big mistake on my part. And I'm not even sure how I'm going to get out of here, so I'm going to break for a minute and meet you back down in the room below this one that I can't get to. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay. And I'm back. In the room where I should have been to begin with. And, oh, that bomb actually worked. I told you I sucked at this level. Really could use a fairy about now, but no. Gotta go down here, past the trap. I completely forgot that there are one way doors in this level. I really did. So let's see, where do I need to go here? Oh, thank you. Oh, crap. Here. Oh, please, somebody give me some health here. Would be nice. Freaking like likes. I hate them. I almost lost my shield to one again on the way back when I had to do that backtracking. It was embarrassing. Fortunately, I had my wand equipped so I could just zap them out of existence, even though I had just been hit by a bubble and couldn't use my sword. Anyways, here we are. Almost at Ganon. Yep, that's right. Happened pretty quick, didn't it? Well, relatively speaking. Come on. I hate these things. They're so hard to... Time your attacks too. Come on. Oh, come on. Alright. Alright. Time to heal up. I should be able to do this. Here we go, guys. Going to beat Ganon for the first time. Well, sort of. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about that either. The Zelda timeline is pretty screwed up, so... Alright, here we go. I've got the Triforce, bitches. Come here, you. Come on, come on. I know he's around here somewhere. Gotta just hit him a few times. Basically, just punch him. There's a pattern to this, but I've never quite figured it out. I know he kind of goes around the room a bit. Gotta hit him a few times, and then he'll turn red, and that's when you zap him with... Come on. I can do this. There we go. Got him! Yeah! Triforce of Power. Step over his ashes there. Say hi, Zelda. How's it going? Yay! Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Yes, I know I am. Ah, seizure-inducing flashing. I'm sorry, I'll stop humping.
And yes, that's right. That's the ending. All that you worked for was basically a congratulations, you win screen. It wasn't even any credits. At least, not much. I mean, one screen? That's it? It's not much. <sighs> well, that's The Legend of Zelda for you. This is where it all started. All your crazy Zelda spin-offs and Game Boy Zeldas and Super Nintendo Zeldas and N64 Zeldas and Zeldas on the Wii and Shadow Link and this, that, and the other thing. It's all started here. If this game hadn't been a hit, none of those other ones would exist. Now, this isn't really my favorite Zelda. That honor probably belongs to uh, A Link to the Past on the NES, uh, SNES, Super Nintendo. But I did love this game in its day, and eh, it doesn't really hold up as much as a lot of other games do. Uh, it is pretty simplistic, and as I said, there's not much of a reward, and the replay value after a while is basically zero, um, especially once you re get really good at it. Now there is the second quest, of course, which, as I've said before, uh, lots of people have already done the second quest, they've done playthroughs of the second, qu uh, second quest, they've done let's plays of the second quest with only three hearts and not using the sword and other stuff like that, so um, I'm not that hardcore. I never will be. Um, but it's neat that you can do stuff like that. That's where you get the replay value for this, is going through it again and trying to beat your old score. Uh, well, not score, but beat it in a way with some restrictions that you didn't have the first time around. Um, and that's pretty much it. We, uh, we can see now that the number five is under my name. That's the number of times I died. Yeah, I, d I died a few times. And, um... Yeah, if I were to pick up from here, I would start the second quest, which is why Link is holding a sword. That's what that means. Second quest. Now, I'm not going to do a playthrough. I'm not going to do a Let's Play of the second quest. Um, I have neither the time, nor the patience, nor the skill for it. So, this is going to be the end. The end of my very first Let's Play video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun to play. Uh, the Legend of Zelda is a great game. It is one of the few games out there that hasn't been Let's Played to death by some of the more well-known names in Let's Playing, some of the more, um, uh, well, if you Google for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, there aren't a lot of them out there. There are a few, some. I did find some. They're not the greatest, um, necessarily, quality always. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really feel like watching any of them. They uh, commentary maybe wasn't the greatest. Not that mine was any better, but there you have it. Just my little contribution to the world of, well, YouTube videos of people talking while they play video games. And really, that's all it is. Anyways, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Keith doing Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. And who knows, maybe I'll do another one if I can figure out a game that I don't suck at that hasn't already been Let's Played to death. But maybe not. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.